Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I made this homemade paint booth with materials that are relatively easy to find. Since this is my first video, I'm aware that there are many things that need to be improved, but I hope you could find the idea on how I made this thing. You could find the material list in the description box below. For the first step, I cut the cardboard into several parts. The back side that holds the fan is the hardest part for me, so I make this part first before I make any other parts. I made a square with a length of 40cm and a width of 30cm. After I measured the square, I cut it with around 5cm addition space for me to adjust the size later. Then I made another square in the center for the fan placement. I made the inner square 12 by 12 cm because I used that exact size for the fan. You could adjust the inner square according to the fan size that you use. After I finish making the design, I start to trim the inner square for the fan and cutting the diagonal lines. When the cutting process is done, your cardboard should look like this. Then I join the parts and adjust the size as big as possible with the additional 5cm space. And this is my final result. I'm sorry if this part maybe confuse you because actually I was having a hard time adjusting this part. So I'm sorry I couldn't tell you the exact measurement. When you finish making the back side, the other part is quite easy. You just need to cut 4 more square for the top, bottom, left and the right side. For me personally, I like to make diagonal cut for the left and the right side, so it will look just like this. I use some scotch tape to assemble the booth. Also, I recommend to cover up all the inner side of the booth with the tape because cardboard tends to absorb liquid. So, if you want your paint booth last longer, make the inner side waterproof. After you finish making the four other sides, you can start to assemble the parts. Now we move to the fan. The fan has its own cable jack that does not fit to the adapter that I will use. So I replace them with DC port and extend the cable.
I use some heat shrink tube to cover the parts that I've soldered. Before you start soldering the cable to the DC socket, make sure the fan turns to the right direction. If the wind blows towards you, then you need to switch the cable placement. After you finish the cable and the adapter socket, you need to make some locking parts so it could stand still. For this part, I use cardboard, a straw, some string, and a glue gun. You need to make two small circles as big as a coin and two small cuts of straw. Join them up to make a string holder. You could see in the video how and where I place the string holder and the string. As you can see, now the booth is done. To finish the paint booth, you need to place the fan into the back side. When you are using this paint boot, make sure you place something in the back side to catch the paint. I make some simple box around 12 by 12 cm square for the bottom side and around 25 cm for the height. I make some hole for the airflow and for a little test, I add some cardboard behind the box to see if there are any paint leaks.
Well, there you go. I hope you can find this helpful and give you an idea on how making your simple and cheap DIY pen booth. I hope you enjoyed this video.